Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if Windows 8 does not have any internet connections available. So this could definitely be a frustrating issue, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it. I'm going to jump into it. So you want to just left click on the start button one time, type in Device Manager, select Device Manager from the search field. Now you want to expand the network adapter section, so just expand that. And for whatever network adapter is listed in here, you just want to right click. Try updating the driver software, so search automatically for updated driver software. If that doesn't work, I would suggest considering just right clicking and then uninstall. And then when you restart your computer, it should automatically reinstall the drivers and that might be able to get your computer back up and running with the internet. Another thing you could try would be to right click on the start button left click on command prompt in parentheses admin if you receive a user account control prompt asking if you want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer left click on yes now in this elevated command line window you want to go ahead and type in ipconfig exactly it appears on my screen so ipconfig space forward slash flush dns flush dns should all be one word attached to that forward slash then you want to hit enter should say successfully flushed a dns resolver cache now you want to type in NETSH space WINSOCK, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset. Again, NETSH space WINSOCK space reset. Then you want to hit enter. Should say successfully reset the WINSOCK catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. So I would suggest restarting your computer at this time and hopefully that has resolved your issue. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.